Okie dokie guys. Oh my god. I'm finally back. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long I honestly feel super good. Um some new updates. I got a haircut as you guys can tell Yep, totally mom now. And I got a little bit tanner. I don't know if you guys can tell A little bit tanner. There's no makeup on right now So I don't know if you guys can tell but I, I definitely feel tanner someone said something to me today So I was like, yeah, I'm definitely tanner but hi everybody and welcome back to a new video on our channel if you guys are new to my channel my name is kiana and i have a son his name is zade don't forget to subscribe to our channel and yeah let's get right into it so this is just going to be a little update for you guys a lot of people have been asking me questions and i like have been responding to them but then it's like i just need to make a video and like clarify everything so First things first, I am moving. Yes, I am moving. I've literally moved three times since October. So it's actually super annoying and uh, it, it really sucks. But the first time I moved was because um, I moved into someone's apartment. I took over their lease. So their lease was from October to February or March. So that's why it was so short. And um rent went up at the place i was currently at because it was updated and it was only a one bedroom no dining room no nothing so rent was more to that rent was like ten dollars less or something rather than if i just got this two bedroom if i just transferred over to a two bedroom it's outdated not as nice and stuff but so i moved in march here and then i got an opportunity i know somebody it's like a family member that knows somebody it's like one of their really good friends for years that owns a complex and i'm not gonna get like too personal too into details but basically an opportunity opened for me and it's like one in a lifetime not one in a lifetime but like opportunities don't really open there a lot um so i'm moving back to my hometown east slime so i will be there um i'm technically already living in that apartment right now i paid rent this month so i paid two rents this month i am technically out of here july 1st so i just got back actually from the house from moving some things over there so yeah it's a little bit different i'm going to show you guys a house tour there's a lot of things that have been done to it but there's a lot that still needs to be done and there's a lot i'm going to do to make it like homey because i'm going to be here for a long time and honestly it's like right down the street from my mom which really works and like obviously the beaches and everything because east Lime's a beach town you know so yeah sorry if i look crazy guys but yeah, so a lot's been happening, and on top of that, I did get a new job. I didn't really want to say anything until I knew for sure I passed all my pre-screening stuff, and then I also, until I talked to my job that I'm currently at. So there's a lot of pros and cons to it. Um, the cons would definitely be the fact that I'm now leaving Zade. I work with my son. I'm so blessed to work there. Like, we go on lunch together every single day. I go check on him any time of the day. He literally just calls me because we have phones in every room. I'm like, hi, mama. Like, so it's just like, it's awesome having him there um, and working there at the same time. It's honestly so nice. And it's where I went to school as a kid. And it's right, it's about not even a mile from where I'm going to be living. But not gonna get too personal but pay is like not good it's a little bit more than minimum wage but literally don't it's nothing crazy like it's not even it's it's pretty low and i feel like daycare workers should definitely be getting a lot more because we deal with a lot of stress we deal with a lot of things but anyway so i got a job offer and you guys should comment down below what you guys think it is right now before i tell you guys comment what you think it is um what do you think it would be that I would leave my son's daycare to be here? Obviously, it's something good. I wouldn't just leave for another daycare, so don't comment on another daycare or stop and shop or something. No. The position that I got is a pharmacy technician at CVS. So, it's like, <laughs> sorry, it's super exciting for me because number one, pay is like way better than what i'm making now like it's not just like a dollar two or three dollars like it's a it's a lot so um not like 
$30 an hour, nothing like that, but it's a lot for me at least, and it's a big jump, and it's what I need for me and my son and my future. Obviously, I'm going to school for nursing, so a pharmacy technician, obviously, it's not a nurse, but just getting into like the medical field, I guess you could say, is like a really good opportunity for me. So, um, I have that, and I just like how it, the hours, and I just think it's just like a really good step for me personally. Like, I don't know. I'm super, super, super excited about it. So there's like a lot of pre-screening that I had to do, like drug tests, background tests, background checks, a bunch of other stuff. And then I'd go in um, Sunday, fill out more paperwork. And now I'm basically just waiting this week to get an email of the training setup. So I have to go to have to go to an orientation, and then I start training. And then once they actually train you there, and they get they train you to do. Um, to get your flab or not phlebotomy, I already have my phlebotomy license, but um, your pharmacy technician license, which takes six months, and then they pay for all the books for you to study, they pay for your tests, they pay for like everything, and once I get that, then my pay would go up more. So it's really, really, it's really good step in the direction that I need, and I'm super, super excited about it. Um, it is part-time for a little bit of time, but with my whole new house situation, I can afford to be part-time now because rent is so, so much cheaper. Like, I am paying a lot of money right now here, so it's like I, I can never miss a day of work. So, it's just like everything's going really, really good, and that's why I haven't really been on YouTube a lot because there's been so much going on, and I feel like a lot of people have asked me, like, don't like give up like keep uploading and I promise you guys I'm not giving up there's just so much going on so I'm hoping that this is like the next few weeks it's gonna be a little crazy but I'm gonna try to at least upload twice a week I'm gonna upload this soon but anyways I just want to do a quick house tour for you guys on um, my new house um, the lighting wasn't very well because it was done I recorded it at nighttime but I tried to explain as much of the renovations that I want to do and things I want to add and all of that as much as possible in the video I will try to get another video up soon once we actually do move in or I'll do a moving in video if you guys want to see us moving in the whole process and how I decorate and all that stuff then comment that down below that you guys want to see a video of me doing that I love you guys so much thank you guys for being so patient with me and I can't even believe we're at 200 subscribers oh my god should I like dance for this I don't know I love you guys so much I 200 subscribers like I know it's like not a lot but to me that's a lot because I started with zero obviously <laughs> we all start with zero but I don't know I just feel like my June goal was to hit 200 by the end of June and it is June 15th 16th 17th 18th it's June 18th and I hit 200 subscribers a few days ago. I just haven't posted about it because I've been so busy. But I love you all. Thank you all for subscribing and thank you all for supporting me. It means the world to me. And here is the house tour and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Enjoy. Sorry if I look so crazy. Oh, breaking out guys. Acne galore. I'm on acne medication I'm trying to get my life together, okay? short hair don't care all right guys so this is the house it's literally you just walk right into it honestly guys i'm gonna show you that there's actually not a lot of lights in here either because obviously i just got in here um i'm gonna kind of show you guys the house and show you like the renovations that have been done and the things i'm going to do now so when you walk in we have this tile type ugly like floor in here hold on Okay, so we have this floor in here. Um, we have like a gray hardwood type looking in the bathrooms, which I'm going to try to replace all of that with that. So we have the kitchen. We just did um, all of the cabinets and everything. So they're just normal, plain and white. We did the counters. Honestly, not a fan of what they did with the counters. That's a whole nother story though. Okay, it's like super old in here, guys, but that's why they did a bunch of stuff. So this, I hate this backsplash, so I'm going to do all new backsplash, like, all along the back and everything. Um, so basically, this is a kitchen. It's super small, but this is a kitchen. We have the window over here that outlooks outside. Okay, and then we come into here and... 
Here is the dining area, I guess you would say. This is like a little area right here. This is what the counters were before, but they renovated it. And honestly, they the carpenters put this here and we don't know why they did that. So we kind of have this here. We're trying to figure out what, like either I'm gonna paint this white or we can make it longer and make it kind of like a bar area. I don't know, we're still working on that. Um, all the edges in here that are brown, the doors, the closets and everything, I'm going to paint those myself white because I hate the dark brown, it's super old. Carpets are being replaced. I don't know if you guys can see, it's super blurry. Um, and then right here is where we're gonna mount the TV and everything and I honestly plan to do something like a different color wall, like an accent wall or even like a stone or something here. Okay. Carly's here, she's visiting. But anyways, guys, so, okay. So then this is the living room where Harley is. I think they're redoing the carpets. Like I said, I wanna do all the trim and this is going to be an accent wall right here. I'm gonna mount it. All these doors I wanna paint white. They're all like old. Look how old they are in brown. And honestly, I don't know why they even put this closet here. It's like a super weird setup, I don't know. Out here, I don't know if my mom's out here, is a little patio. And then I don't know if you guys can see, but back there there's yard. Somebody put that up because they just um, they just did mowing, so they put that sideways. It's not mine. And then there's a half bath in here. This is the floors that I was telling you guys about. Um, the gray woods. They were gonna put these in here so that it'll be all like that throughout the house. But yeah, it's just a normal bathroom half bath. Oh, I don't know how to turn. Oh, there's three lights. I just. And then, and we have upstairs, which we are just measuring and trying to figure out which room I want to be which. I'm sorry guys, it's super dark right now. You guys will kind of get the whole point of it though. So here's one room. This is a smaller room, but honestly it's super bright. I'm really big on having my room super bright. So I might take this room. The closet's a lot smaller. No, you guys can't see, I'm sorry. But it's a normal closet, a lot smaller, but I just like the fact that it's so bright in here. And then, I have to do something with this because the closet door, we have to get that fixed, is off from the person that lived here before. And then this is the bathroom for upstairs, the full bath. This is just the same exact hardwoods here. I have to come and clean a bunch of stuff. But yeah. And then this is the like master bedroom, I guess you could say. Got the big window in the back. It's just super dark back here because there's so many trees back there and it doesn't get a lot of light. But there is double closets and it's obviously bigger. So I'm still trying to figure out what I'm exactly gonna do with that. But that is the house. Like I said, I wanna do all this stuff. This stuff, this, this. And yeah. Hi, huh, Harley. You visiting? So cute.